Hello and welcome to another Resolve tutorial. Uh, today we're going to have a really quick look at reducing the heat of your image. The waveform is just a little bit too high, they look a little bit overexposed. In this video I just wanted to introduce a technique that I use really often um, and it's using the contrast and pivot tool. So we have this image here, I've used a color space transform to transform it from S-Log into Rec 709 working space. I want to reduce this image, it's uh, sitting quite high in the waveform, um, it was recorded a little bit overexposed, so the traditional way would be to go to our left gamut and gain, sort of drop our shadows down a touch, drop our midtones down a touch, and maybe our highlights a little. Okay, so that's uh, before and after. That's a fairly traditional way of reducing your highlights. Let me just um, grab a still of this and clear this node with Shift Home. So the way that I'm gonna introduce today is a little bit different um, and it's using the contrast and pivot. It's a really fast way to reduce your overall exposure. So I'm gonna jump to this pivot tool, uh, scroll all the way up to 100. What this does is it um, changes where we're gonna be adjusting our contrast from. Um, in this case, we're gonna be pinning our highlights and adjusting the contrast down. Until I go crazy with it, our highlights are pinned to the top, so you can see here that they're really not changing that much. If I reset this with double click, adjust this contrast down maybe to about, about 1.4-ish, and do a quick uh, before and after. You can see that already it's kept really nice highlight roll off and highlight detail. Um, and it's reduced our exposure really quickly. Now, what this does do is it compresses our shadows and midtones. See if I rack this up really far, it's really squishing the shadows and midtones together. If you want those soft shadows, this can be a vibe. But if I reduce this a little, and now compare this to the previous three-way corrected image, you can see when we show our image that was adjusted with our three-way correctors, um, the shadows and midtones are a little bit more contrasty. They have a little bit more space. Um, and they're a little bit more compressed using the contrast tool. I really like the speed of the contrast tool and I quite like how it operates with the shadows and midtones. Again, if I wanted to slightly stretch out this contrast, I could, you know, chuck my shadows down a little bit and bring my gamma up and sort of get some of that separation in there. But the contrast and pivot can be a really great starting tool to then make further adjustments. I'm gonna do one more quick example, um, her hands in the water here. Um, again, not too bad exposure wise, but a little bit hot. So I'm gonna go ahead, add a node, whack my pivot up, whack my contrast up, and you can see, suddenly this image is looking a lot more correctly exposed. Really fast, really easy. You pin your highlights, keep that roll off, and just whack your midtones and shadows down. I use this all the time. I cannot stress how much I use this little trick. Um, so I thought I'd share it with you. Hopefully it's been helpful. Super short tutorial today, guys. If you enjoyed that video, sick. Leave me a comment. I always love hearing what you guys think and how you guys would do things differently. So tell me how you would um, adjust a slightly hot image. But otherwise, like, share, subscribe, all of those lovely things, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.